Welcome back. Today we are taking a deeper look at a story we brought you first yesterday. This fall, the Appleton Area School District will be joining the Fox Valley Association Adapted Sports League. The goal is to bring the opportunity for 9th through 12th grade students with differing abilities to participate in high school varsity athletics. Some of the sports include indoor soccer, indoor floor hockey, and indoor wiffle ball. And joining us now to talk more about it from the Appleton Area School District, we have Amy Steiner, Executive Director of Special Education, and Stacy Wickersheim, Program Lead for Physical Therapy and Special Education. So let's just start off with, when did you guys start the process for Appleton to join this league? So we've been looking at doing something like this for a number of years. We've researched it. You know, it shows that there's a lot of great benefits to it. Um, the area of lacrosse has a really strong program, so we looked into it, but everything kind of fell through different ways. There was things that happened, COVID happened, everything right. else. But then last year, um, Corey, who runs the Oshkosh North and Oshkosh West and got it set up, he contacted us wanting other um, schools to join it. So then he was instrumental in helping. So then we're like, okay, we have a plan. Let's do this. We talked to administration, got the funding and just really went forward after that. Right, kind of all and fell think, into place. Oh, go ahead, Amy. Yeah. yeah, and I think from a district lens, we saw the value in what this program could bring to the district and to our students, um, not just students with disabilities, but students without disabilities. Um, we really saw this as a step in the right direction towards inclusive programming, um, an opportunity for our students who do have disabilities to be able to participate at a varsity level and compete. Um, and then for our students who um, maybe do not have disabilities and are willing to volunteer as peer helpers or be active within the league, we saw a great benefit there um, in terms of teamwork, um, empathy, um, understanding differences um, between students and peers and being really able to connect to that school community. Absolutely. You talked a little bit about volunteer. What would these students be doing? What does that kind of look like? Yeah, so right now we are looking for peer helpers at all three of our high schools. Um, peer helpers would sign up. Um, they don't have to work the entire year or support the program the entire year. So if they themselves have commitments with work or sports, um, we will work around that piece. Um, ultimately, we need them to help support the student athletes themselves. Um, due to um, varying aspects of students' disabilities, um, there will gonna be opportunities for our peer helpers to support students with prompting, um, positioning, supporting them through learning a new skill um, or a movement, um, understanding gameplay, that sort of thing. So, you know, per prospective parents kind of watching, what is the time commitment for a student with all abilities to kind of join this league? You know, it's, it's not a lot. That's what makes it kind of nice. So it'll be about one practice a week and about one game a week. Um, it'll be right after school so that students can stay right at school and not have to go home and try to get it right back. And then it'll be about an hour, hour and a half, depending on their skill base and what they're all working on. And then they would be bused to the way games. And those two, like I believe the game start time is like 4.15 and that should be about an hour-ish okay. to play. So it isn't a huge commitment time-wise for the parents on that. When can current students start kind of signing up? How does that work? I think it's already, <laughs> it's already to sign up. It's okay. on like the district website, the high school websites. There's links, there's QR codes, there's everything you need. And then that links to some information about eligibility and who can participate okay. and kind of the rules. And then it also talks about, um, you know, you need your sports physical filled out. You need all the, the the papers to participate as an athlete in the district. Sure. And, and Amy, you kind of talked about this already, the importance of this inclusivity. Um, what do you think that these students will take away from being able to participate in these types of sports um, and really join that atmosphere, like you kind of said, the, the, the fans, the cheering, all of that really adds to the experience? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, obviously the idea that they're playing competitive sports and they're going to learn gameplay um, is an initial benefit. But even beyond that, um, life lessons of teamwork, um, you know, equity for our students, empathy, working together, and then that sense of belonging to your school. Um, I keep saying it can't be understated the um, pride that a student will feel when they put on their high school jersey and they get to represent their high school in competition. Um, I think that's an amazing experience for kids to have, and I'm really excited that we are extending that opportunity to our students with disabilities. Absolutely. I also, oh, <laughs> I was going to say that I also feel that 
you know, this is their chance to shine. You know, they're more than just a student who's in a wheelchair or who happens to be nonverbal. It's their, it's their chance to show, hey, look at all these awesome, amazing qualities and things I can do, you know, and get to hear the crowd cheer for them and have their name announced to do all those really, you know, those things that are part of high school. And, you know, hopefully that everybody can do. And this is just one more opportunity for them to try to do that. Right, and they'll play local teams. How many teams are involved in this league? There are six. So it's Oshkosh West, Oshkosh North, and then Appleton East, Appleton North, Appleton West, and then Hortonville is starting a team this year as well. Okay. So it went from two to six, wow. so which is great. That's awesome. Some good competition there, I suspect. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies, yeah, thank absolutely. you so much for finding time for us. We really appreciate you shining more light on this really cool opportunity uh, moving forward. That, thank Thanks. you.